Hey, what up, y'all? What up, y'all? This your boy LC the Wonder. LC the Wonder, be exact that is, aka Illmatic One Two Four, and not the motherfucking gang numbers, man. But my actual jersey number when I was in high school, and my warm up jersey is right there on the back of my motherfucking chair. Hey, what's up to my LC Nation, man? My LC gang, gang, my LC crew. What's going on out there in the land where you live and you dig? But hey, man, this your road reporter LC the One, baby, and I'm bringing y'all some hot facts. You dig on talking about man, everything in the game. Without the wireframes, man, for real, for real. Because they right there. You think I'm going to talk about the, the Versace, you dig? But listen, this is like my semi-reaction, man, to James Harden press conference. Game number six, man, when he uh, when they played against the Warriors and they lost, okay? And it was a lot of uh, critical type of questions that they was asking him and stuff like that, you know. Not more so about his game play because they did bash him on that. You know, like I think it was game five or something like that, you know. But it was more so about the cohesiveness of the group, you know, that they got, you know. And will they come back stronger next year? And he answered that. He was like, yeah, you know. And they was asking him, you know, what y'all going to do about it and stuff like that. He said, well, we know exactly what to do about it and stuff like that. In the off season and stuff like that. So that may be... Uh, like alluding to, yeah, they may get some more, somebody else, a nice top free agent. You dig on talking about no telling what can happen. But they was asking him, uh, do you feel like uh, uh, your group uh, could play better, you know, in situations when they don't have like a Kevin Durant against where he was like, yeah, you know, and they were saying that, that was pretty much the same team before Kevin Durant got there. And yeah, it was the same team, you know, as y'all seen it before Kevin Durant got there. But they could have beat them. But they went away from the game plan, you know, in them late situation stretches and stuff like that. They could have stayed with Chris Paul, you dig on talking about. And yeah, I thought Chris Paul was doing an excellent job, but they, they went away from him and they started isolating with James Harden, okay? And that was a no-no procedure. You know, they should stay with the game plan, let Chris Paul control and dictate the offense because he is the point guard, the floor general, and that was his assignment. That was his duty to get out there and take care of that business, man. But that's how the cookie crumbles in a nutshell sometimes. So, you know, you got to keep that in mind. You know, uh, uh, coaches, uh, no no shade or anything towards the coach. You know, Mike D'Antoni and nothing like that. But, you know, you live and learn. You dig what I'm talking about. But they was the best team before Kevin Durant, you know, and they got a great coach, Steve Kerr. Shout out to Steve Kerr because he got them boys playing sound, good basketball, you dig, and they're going to have to make some critical decisions themselves in the offseason, man, for real, for real, because, yeah, it's free agency time, and somebody got to go. Or if they work it out, like I said in the, the vlog, you know, somebody going to have to make a critical decision as far as their finances, their bankroll. You feel what I'm saying? Somebody going to have to do it, man, or else – we gonna see a breakup of that dynasty. I mean, if Kevin Durant leave, then it makes sense because they going back to the regular team, and they still gonna be dominant. But now other teams are getting better. Like Milwaukee, they can add some more people. Then they talking about the Knicks. They may get Durant, Curry. I mean, uh, Kyrie uh, Irving, and and Zion, or Zion can come here to Chicago, or Kevin Durant can come here, or. Kyrie Irving can come here, and we we'll, we we'll have a. I mean, it's gonna get better. The teams are getting better, and they you know it's playing. It's like, but I don't think we're gonna see a dynasty like this one ever again. You know, pretty much. So if he lead that team, then you could say that dynasty is over with. You know, because that's what that's what they got, and they are gonna win every year if the, if Kevin Durant stay there. That's that's facts. Facts. Shout out to Cass Nasty and stuff. I was watching your girl Bubs and stuff, man. Shout out to your girl Bubs. She's on YouTube and she's a stream. I'm about to stream myself, man. But they mess with my internet, man. For real, for y'all see that? The internet just went down. You dig what I'm talking about? So, yeah, I'm finna try to turn it back on. So, if y'all want to check out my streams for, you know, my gameplay on the 2K and all the other stuff, man. I'm about to get Mortal Kombat 2 and Battlefield 5. Y'all can come check me out, man. Come check me out. I'm finna try to pull it back up. Because I don't know what's going on. It's like, that's the second time my internet just went offline like that, man. And, you know, they tripping tonight. You dig what I'm talking about? But, yeah, 
I'm finna stream on Twitch. I'm on Twitch right now. I'm about to go on Twitch and stream 2K before I go downtown and do this overtime, man. For real, for I do security. I'm top flight of the world, Craig. You think I'm talking to that? Holy moly, don't I shot. But hey, man, for real, I just had to get my thoughts on that, man. I thank all y'all for watching the videos, man, for real, for real, and everything in the game. Without the wild frames, and I won't do a vlog tonight. I get off too late, and I won't do no, no reactions to anything because. You know, the NBA start back Wednesday, so we're going to do that Wednesday and stuff like that. LC1 TV show, and when I get all my new stuff, green screen light and all that stuff, it's going down the major way. Because we don't do this for play play, we do this for pay pay. But yeah, but I'm going to holler at y'all later, man. Hey, this your boy LC1, baby. LC1 to be exact it is. A.K.A. Illmatic124, and not the motherfucking gang numbers, man. But my extra jersey number when I was in high school, and my warm-up jersey right there on the back of my motherfucking chair. Right there. Like I always say, man, keep it pimping and the voice slipping because they will get your motherfucking ass. Keep it slipping on that motherfucking banana pig. Get it one time, man. And like I always say, man, trust me, Reverend God. We're going to forward these shots to my LC Nation, my LC Gang, and my LC Crew. And if y'all like this video, share this video, comment on this video, man. And most importantly of all, man, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, man. And turn the notification bell button on. Ding! To get more exclusive dope content from a pimp play a gangster hustle all about my baby. And like I always say, man, trust me, Reverend God. We're going to five, a four, a three, a two, a one. Judge. In them.